Hey guys, that monkey gamer back here for another video. Welcome back to another episode of Sniping with that monkey gamer. Let's get right into it, guys. So remember, if you have not done so already, this is the last day to enter it. There's a Cam Chancellor, Earl Thomas, and Richard Sherman Legion of Boom giveaway going in the link down below in the description. Click that, and you'll be taken to a website, myhead.com, where you're going to be. Um, entering in for the giveaway they will email you if you do win and by using my link I'm able to get three extra entries so if you can guys I really appreciate it let's get right into this video starting off right away let's talk about oh sorry let me mention what I'm doing in case you guys are new if you're all new make sure you check out this whole entire series this is episode six I believe so pretty much what I do is I set up all players elite and then I go through each team Set the TO to newest, and we just, you know, pretty much see if we can get any snipes. Oh my god. I thought that was Ron Miller. I thought that card on the left was a card on the right. And I thought it was going for 30k, and I was like, oh my god. But yeah, so pretty much all we try to do is see if we can get any snipes. We go through every single team, and that's pretty much it. And as we do that, we talk about different things on Madden. We talk about how to make coins. We talk about... You know, just sniping in general. We talk about all types of things, promos, how to invest coins, how to do all, you know, the whole shebang of anger. So, if you guys all enjoying the series, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's get right into it now that I expressed all that. Well, first thing we talk about the new packs in the game, all legend packs. I reviewed if you should buy them or not, but that's not what really matters. What matters is, guys, the whole point of the collectibles. Now, the bundle topper contains four collectibles. The packs, I think it's, what, five packs with one collectible guaranteed each pack. So that's nine collectibles total. I could be incorrect on the amount of packs it is, but it's something like that. So my whole point behind that, guys, is... You want to go and try to snipe the collectibles. Now, a lot of times people can be going through those and just throw up the collectibles for nobody, nobody's business. So if you can get the collectibles, snipe them in the auction block from 1 to 3K, you can pretty much sell them back once the, the sets are out of the game. I mean, the not the sets. The um, packs are out of the game. Just oh, out of the week, sell those collectibles for, let's say, if you, you get a couple of them for like 2K. You can sell them back once they're, uh, they're out of the game. I mean, the packs are out of the game. And you can easily probably... They'll probably go back up the collectibles to like, let's say, 7, 8, 9K maybe. You can sell a 1K collectible for 9K. And even if you don't... if Even if they don't go back up at all, you're still able to sell them for 5K. So, definitely sniping those collectibles could be the move... That is snipe. Hang on. No, 63. Okay, okay. Sometimes you just gotta go, you gotta stop and look. Is that a snipe? <laughs> and then, yeah, and sometimes it is, sometimes it won't be. But yeah, so that's my whole point, guys, is you just gotta look and, you know, you try, you just try to snipe. And I said this last video, the whole, you put yourself in position to win. You gotta put yourself in position to snipe. So go and try and see what you can get. Who knows? You might even get a 150 coin collectible. Um,. What's called by doing this method. Now, someone did mention uh, the 9K punter last episode. If you're talking about him, I I don't know like why would you get him? Like, you can't really snipe him. He's 7K. I mean, he goes for 9K. That's not really a, a snipe, and he's not worth anything. The reason why he goes for nothing is because he's a punter, and he even though he is elite, he is a punter. He he doesn't affect you overall at all. Same thing with Sam Cook over there. These players aren't going to affect you overall, so they're not going to go for anything. So that's why he pretty much is the. I pretty much aren't using. I'm not using him because of that reason. But let's go into number two, best sniping times. All right, guys. Well, as I told you in the previous videos, the best sniping time to snipe is during nighttime. You know, I saw another side during the day, during like middle daytime. That's the best time to snipe. Now. Let's say overall in the year, what time of year should you snipe? During the holiday promos. So during Thanksgiving, BCA, Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, um, 4th of July, all those promos is when you're going to want to snipe. 
because that, that's when a lot of people are going to be spending a lot of money in the game. And there's going to be a lot of cards on the auction house. And a lot of people are going to put them up for cheap. And you just have to take advantage of that. So make sure you snipe during those times. Because that's going to be the best opportunity to get the best cards for the cheapest. Now, um, next one we have here is, and I told you this in the previous videos, but just I'm just going to keep hitting this point home just so you guys remember. Sell at night time. Do not sell your cards during the daytime. During the day, there's going to be a lot of people on, and that means a lot of people are going to be selling cards. When that is the case, that means that there's a lot of cards that are being put up in the auction house, undercutting each other, undercutting each other. And you're, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to you know, take those cards, sell them at nighttime, and buy during the day. And that's also a method you can do. And another little thing, I know a lot of people get discouraged with this when it comes to Ultimate Team. And if you put a card up, let's say you put a card up for like 80k, right? Don't always just put it up for an hour. Because let's say I put a card up for 80k, right? The other two cards are up for 70k, right? And the other two cards are up for 59 minutes each. And, right, let me put it in this perspective. The fourth card is 100k. The third card is 95k. The second card is about 75k. And then the, you know, the first card is 75k. Those two 75ks are up for 59 minutes each. They just got put up. After that, there's a 95k, okay? Put yours up for, eight, for uh, 90k and put it up for a day. Do not get discouraged thinking you have to put yours up for now 74k. A lot of people do that. The thing is, eventually, those cards are going to expire. If they do not expire, what they're going to do is they're going to get bought. They're either going to expire or get bought. And what you're going to do is the second those cards go away, you're the next cheapest price. And even though you are higher than them and price-wise, no one's going to see that when their card expires or their card just get, gets bought. So remember that, guys. If you if you do put a card up, sometimes putting it up for a day and just seeing if it sells is a lot better than putting it up for an hour. Because when you put it up for an hour, you're not getting anything from it. Like, you have to undercut people, and that's just stupid. No need to undercut people. Oh, my God. When I saw that goes for 80K, I saw him for 30K, but then he goes for 33K. So it's not a big deal, but I, I was like, oh, my God. But, um... But yeah, so just remember guys, you don't have to always do that, you know. You don't always have to undercut people. Sometimes put your card up for a long time and that's all you have to do. I think we can kicked off. Oh, we did not get kicked off. I gotta give EA pops. Apparently someone was DDoSing them and that's the reason why they had terrible internet or terrible connection to the servers lately. But I think they fixed it and I gotta give them pops for fixing the crap. Wait, why doesn't it show me the newest card? There we go go back to jets all right so next point we have here i actually forgot to tell you guys these videos are actually very long <laughs> i forgot to put that point out in the beginning of the video but um next point we have here all oh, um buying new cards. okay so here here's what the title is going to be about and this is actually the biggest thing a lot of people don't know collect i mean what's called contracts cost about two thousand for what a hundred contracts Here's a tip that's going to save you a lot of coins when you're doing solos. When you're doing solos, at least. What you're going to want to do is buy a team very, very cheap. Right? Buy, let's say you buy all uh, all silver team, uh, all bronze team for like 300 coins each player, right? When you're going through the solos, use up 20 contracts out of the 25, okay? So what you're going to have is you're going to have your whole team's gonna have five contracts. Buy a whole nother team of bronzes and sell that previous team you had of five contractees. Because what you're gonna do is all those cards are gonna sell, right? 500 coins or whatever, whatever they sell for in the auction house. They're gonna sell in the auction house and you're gonna get like 500 coins. I mean, sorry, you're gonna have all those uh, players have five contracts sell in the auction house. You're going to buy a whole new team for bronzes or have 25 points or 25 contracts. So instead of buying new contracts for 2,000 coins, you could probably buy a whole bronze team for, we'll say, 4K 
and you get 25 contracts every time you do that. So that's a lot better than than actually doing, you know, you save a lot more coins by doing that than keep buying contracts over and over and over again and, you know, getting that 25, uh, you know, 25, what's it called, 25 contracts back up. Just sell the player that has low contracts and buy a new player. There's no reason to buy contracts. Just sell them, buy a new guy, replace him. That's how we do this. And that's a better way to get through solos without spending a lot of money, uh, coins on contracts. Next guy we have here, uh, um, when cards are uh, plentiful on the auction house, which means the demand for the card is low. The supply is high. What do you guys? You buy. <laughs> because that means that the demand is very low. I mean, low at the time. The supply is very high. If you buy that card, right, and let's say when it comes out of the packs, the demand is going to go up. The supply is going to go down. Obvious. I talked about this in previous episodes about um, when you're playing, you know, not solos, but when you're playing like um, games like... Ooh, what's a good example? When you're doing Team of the Weeks, when you're doing the Team of the Week sets, or you're doing, you know, different sets like that, where you know the players are going to come out of packs eventually. Told you guys I could do it. Alright, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Let me see how much he goes for. That that might have been the stupidest buy I've ever made. Or well, this could have been smart. Because those other guys could literally have just been putting this guy up for way too much. How much did he go for? Oh wait, I'm on Madden 16, my bad. Come on, my head, do not glitch right now. Alright, let's look at his stats real fast. Those are stats, guys. Um, let's see how much he goes for. I bought him for 69k. Hopefully, he goes for more. Goes for 78k. Okay, good. All right, so that's a snipe right there. That's a snipe. And actually, if you go to myhead.com, guys, you can actually see live time prices. So exactly what he's going for right now in the auction house. But yeah, so sometimes like that, like you saw me just there. You gotta be quick sometimes, you know? You gotta be really quick, and you gotta be right to the punch with getting it. So you can't be like slow, thinking, I was very quick, that's why I stopped talking, because I was like, oh crap, I gotta get this. So, um, also that's why it's good to have all the coins. What the hell? Sorry guys, I'm, I have to log into my account in order to see this. Okay, this is, my head is glitchy right now. All right, come on, let's see if I can log in. Okay, I have no idea why it's not letting me log in. Come on, my head, be the MVP in this video. I just say to go to myhead.com, man. All right, it's kicking me, it won't let me log in my account. All right, so I'm gonna put him up for about, uh, I wish I could see live time feeds, but sadly, Mutthead does not want to be the MVP of this video and show you guys why you should use it. Because it's, yeah, maybe? Oh, there we go. There we go, Mutthead. All right. That's why you use Mutthead. But that's also why you remember your crap from Mutthead. Okay, so he sold for 78k an hour ago. He sells for about 80k. So let me put him up for about, I'll put him up for that much. All right, so. The only reason I'm putting him for 59 minutes, guys, is because I think he'll sell very quickly. So how much did I buy him for? I bought him for 69K. Obviously 79K minus 7,900. Okay, so I'm going to make about 2K off this. Now I could put him up for a lot more. But I don't think he'll sell for a lot more because he goes for 78k or 79k, whatever. So that's why I'm not going to put him up for a lot more. But if I wanted to, I honestly could. I still want to be that guy right now, you know. I just want him to sell quickly, 
get him out of here. So let's go on to the next one and what which point was I talking about right there? Um buy coins plentiful in the auction house. Yeah, so as I was saying, you want to buy, you want to especially buy coins that, um, sorry, buy cards that you know are going to be out of packs and they're not, they might not be in the packs for long. So when the supply is very high, of course the demand is going to be low, so the price is going to be really low. Well, what you're guys going to want to do is invest in those cards and then, you know, be able to sell them once they're out of packs and the price goes up and you'll make coins that way. Dallas Clark, okay. Um, next one we have here. Oh yeah, also. Well, look at this. Now you, you might say it's only like uh yeah, it's only two K profit, so it's not too crazy profit. Now I could have I honestly if I wanted to, if I was you know, I probably should have put it up for a lot more than that and probably put it for eighty K. But I just don't think it would have sold for eighty K, so and I definitely wanted to show you guys it's selling this video. So if I wasn't making a video, I'd probably put it up for more. But that's just an example of a snipe you guys can do. Because let's say I got like eight times, like I did that eight times. That's 16K, you know. If I did that 10 times, it's 20K. It adds up eventually. But anyway, think about future sets, guys. Always be thinking about future sets. So if you have a card and you're like, hey, should I get rid of this card? Should I keep it on my team? You know, what should I do with it? Think about what could happen in the future in the future could there be a set that adds that card and that makes that card so expensive we see this with positional hero sets we see this with all different types of sets throughout the year and you have to remember that pretty much with all the sets that come out throughout the year okay good uh, throughout the year um that there's always a chance that the card you have could be ending up being worth like you know 30 40 50 60 thousand coins even if it goes for nothing right now so always remember that and always keep that in mind that although right now it might go for nothing it could end up going for a lot so anyway guys i think i'm going to end the video there so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and remember to enter the giveaway down below guys we only have a i think when you're watching this video i believe there's only 10 hours left of the giveaway so if you do want to enter in and have a chance at winning the Legion of Boom, that's all three players. Make sure you go down below, you enter in, and they will email you if you are the winner. So see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Adding, we talk about how to make coins. We talk about, you know, just sniping in general. We talk about all types of things, promos, how to invest coins, how to do all, you know, the whole shebang of anger. So, if you guys all enjoying the series, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and let's get right into it now that I expressed all that. Well, first thing we talk about, the new packs in the game, all legend packs, I reviewed if you should buy them or not, but that's not what really matters. What matters is, guys, the whole point of the collectibles. Now, the bundle topper contains four collectibles, the packs, I think it's what, five packs? With one collectible guaranteed each pack. So that's nine collectibles total. I could be incorrect on the amount of packs it is. But it's something like that. So my whole point behind that guys. Is you want to go and try to snipe the collectibles. Now a lot of times people are going to be going through those. And just throw up the collectibles for nobody, nobody's business. So if you can get the collectibles. And snipe them in the auction block from 1 to 3k. You can pretty much sell them back. Once the, the sets are out of the game, I mean, the not the sets, the um, packs are out of the game, just oh, out of the week, sell those collectibles for, let's say, if you just, you, I'm just going to keep hitting this point home, just so you guys remember. Sell at night time. Do not sell your cards during the daytime. During the day, there's going to be a lot of people on, and that means a lot of people are going to be selling cards. When that is the case, that means that there's a lot of cards that are being put up in the auction house. Undercutting each other. Undercutting each other. And you're, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to you know, take those cards, sell them at night time, and buy during the day. And that's also a method you can do. And another little thing, I know a lot of people get discouraged with this when it comes to Ultimate Team. And if you put a card up, let's say you put a card up for like 80k, right? Don't always just put it up for an hour. Because let's say I put a card up for 80k, right? 
The other two cards are off for 70k, right? And the other two cards are off for 59 minutes each. And, right, let me put it in this perspective. The fourth card is 100k. The third card is 95k. The second card is about 75k. And then the, you know, the first card is 75k. Those two 75Ks are up for 59 minutes each. They just got put up. After that, there's a 95K, okay? Put yours up for eight, for uh, 90K and put it up for a day. Hey guys, that Monkey Gamer back here for another video. Welcome back to another episode of Sniping with that Monkey Gamer. Let's get right into it, guys. So, remember, if you have not done so already, this is the last day to enter it. There's a Cam Chancellor, Earl Thomas, and Richard Sherman Legion of Boom giveaway going in the link down below in the description. Click that, and you'll be taken to a website, myhead.com, where you're going to be um, entering in for the giveaway. They will email you if you do win. And by using my link, I'm able to get three extra entries. So if you can, guys, I really appreciate it. Let's get right into this video. Starting off right away, let's talk about... Oh, sorry. Let me mention what I'm doing in case you guys are new. If you are new, make sure you check out this whole entire series. This is episode 6, I believe. So, pretty much what I do is I set up all players, elite, and then I go through each team, set the TO to newest, and we just, you know, pretty much see if we can get any snipes. Oh my god. I thought that was Ron Miller. I thought that card on the left was a call on the right. And I thought I was going for 30k, and I was like, oh my god. But yeah, so pretty much all we try to do is see if we can get any snipes. We go through every single team, and that's pretty much it. And as we do that, we talk about different things on me. You get a couple of them for like 2k. You can sell them back once they're, uh, they're out of the game. I mean, the packs are out of the game. And you can easily probably... They'll probably go back up to collectibles to like, let's say, 7, 8, 9k maybe. You can sell a 1k collectible for 9k. And even if you don't... If even if they don't go back up at all, you're still able to sell them for 5k. So, definitely sniping those collectibles could be the move. That is snipe. Hang on. No, 63k. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta go, you gotta stop and look. Is that a snipe? <laughs> and then, yeah, and sometimes it is, sometimes it won't be. But yeah, so that's my whole point, guys, is you just gotta look and, you know, you try you just try to snipe and I said this last video the whole you put yourself in position to win you gotta put yourself in position to snipe so go and try and see what you can get who knows you might even get a hundred fifty coin collectible um what's called by doing this method now someone did mention uh the 9k punter last episode if you're talking about him I I don't know like why would you get him like you can't really snipe him he's 7k I mean he goes for 9k, that's not really a, a snipe, and he's not worth anything. The reason why he goes for nothing is because he's a punter, and he, even though he is elite, he is a punter. He he doesn't affect you overall at all. Same thing with Sam Cook over there. These players aren't going to affect you overall, so they're not going to go for anything. So, that's why he pretty much is the, I pretty much aren't using, I'm not using him because of that reason. But, let's go into number two. Best sniping times. Alright guys, well, as I told you in the previous videos, the best sniping time to snipe is during nighttime. You know, I saw another side. During the day, during like middle daytime. That's the best time to snipe. Now, let's say overall in the year. What time of year should you snipe? During the holiday promos. So during Thanksgiving, BCA, Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, um, 4th of July. All those promos is when you're going to want to snipe. Because that, that's when a lot of people are going to be spending a lot of money on the game. And there's going to be a lot of cards on the auction house. And a lot of people are going to put them up for cheap. And you just have to take advantage of that. So make sure you snipe during those times. Because that's going to be the best opportunity to get the best cards for the cheapest. Now, um, next one we have here is... And I told you this in previous videos, but... 